If you're ever unable to boot into Android due to a boot loop and you need to do a factory reset, maybe you just need to wipe the cache partition, or you want to you want to apply an update via ADB, then you'll first need to boot into recovery mode. So to boot into recovery mode on the Google Pixel or Google Pixel XL, we first need to reboot into fast boot mode. Now if you're unfamiliar with how to boot into fast boot mode you can check the other video I did on that or you can look in the description below this video and I'll have a link to the full tutorial which will guide you through the step-by-step -step process on that. So once we are at the fast boot mode for the pixel in pixel XL we just need to tap the volume down button twice until recovery mode is highlighted up here. Once recovery mode is highlighted, we're just going to go ahead and press on the power button to select it. And this is going to boot us over into the recovery mode splash screen. Now nothing will happen here until you bypass the splash screen and to do that we need to press and hold the power button and then immediately after you start holding the power button down you want to press the volume up button so we're going to press and hold and then single tap on the volume up button and then that boots us right into the Android recovery mode so from here you can reboot the system now which will just take us back into Android we can boot back over into bootloader which is also fast boot which is what we were just at we can apply an update from ADB. We can apply an update from the SD card. We can wipe the data and factory reset. We can mount the system partition. We can view our recovery logs. We can run a graphics test. Or we can just power off the device. So since I just want to show you that you can boot into recovery mode and then easily boot back into Android, I'm just going to keep the reboot system now option highlighted and then press the power button. So this is going to take us through the typical Pixel and Pixel XL boot animation sequence. No, it's bright, so I apologize for you not being able to see the animation. And once it boots us back to the lock screen, we can simply unlock it like normal. And we're back into the typical Android operating system.